So before I said that, a guitar fretboard and a computer keyboard are kind of the same. If you don't know what letter a button is, how are you going to spell words? And with a guitar fretboard, if you don't know where notes are, it's going to be hard to make music. But if I showed you a blank computer keyboard and I asked you to fill out where every single letter is, like, what's over here? Um. I don't know. But if I ask you to spell the word motel, you could probably do that in like a split second without even thinking about it. You might have to look at like where one letter is, but just with that and muscle memory, you'd spell the word no problem. And using a guitar fretboard is pretty much the same. What you really need to know are just a few jumping off points. And then from there, the whole fretboard will make sense. So on a guitar, from the open string to the 11th fret, if you play every note in between, you get 12 unique notes seven of which are natural notes, and the ones in between are sharps and flats, except for B and C and E and F, because every fretboard is made that way. So on the low E string, if you want to play any note one octave higher, all you have to do is go up two strings and up two frets. So on the third fret, you have G, and then on the fifth fret of the fourth string, also G. And then if you want to play G one more octave higher, go from the fourth string to the second string, but three frets up. G, G. It's that easy. And the exact same trick works starting at the fifth string. And that works for every single note. So if you want to start with F, it's the same pattern. It's just patterns. Just don't change the tuning.